Hey everyone, this week we will be going over the latest functionality from the Cold Strike package and I'll show you how to download it to your machine and call it in your R console so that way you can use some of the new functionality that I've been playing around with if you've seen it on Twitter. Um, they have now Woba plots, X Woba plots based on heat maps in the zone. So what I'm going to show you today is basically create a cu custom function that will compare a player's WOBA with their XWOBA based upon the number of years that you decide. So first, what we're going to do is call in our library baseball R. That seems to be a staple of this channel. And then what I'll do next is install packages. Or excuse me, no, I won't. Library called Tidyverse first. So Tidyverse. And then called Strike. And then lastly, this is an important one too patchwork. It allows you to see those plots side by side. So if you need to install any of these, this will be DevTools double colon install underscore github bill petty slash baseball r in quotes and then i'll put this back up here just remove this uh hashtag or comment at the beginning to run that if you don't already have baseball r installed as well as for tidyverse just install that packages tidyverse Make sure you put those in quotes. Then back to DevTools install GitHub and then we'll say baseball called strike. Now the B's may be lowercase, um, feel free to double check beyond that, but if it doesn't work the first time, then change those capital B's to lowercase B's, and that should solve the problem. And lastly, install that packages, patchwork. So how that's going to work is essentially, if you don't have those packages already installed, run these commands without um, the hashtags or the comments at the beginning, so you can load those under your machine um, and feel free to update the packages or leave it blank when it asks you to update other packages that's up to you and then call it by putting it in your library by saying library the package name baseball r tidyverse calls directed patchwork so we'll run all of these you should get something like this when you get for tidyverse and so some of the new functionality what I can show you is something like this from called strike so we'll say well first we'll generate a actually first we'll generate a stat cast data set and thankfully um, Jim Albert the owner of the called strike pa called strike package allowed us to get a sample stat cast data set so you can actually call it in your data set so I'll just call it SC and then SC sample and you can see here you got about half half a data sets worth of a season so in terms of balls in play so what we'll then do here is do some new plots so we'll do Woba plot and then SC keep the title Keep the title the same and whatnot, but then you can see the average Woba based upon the pitch in the zone. Now let's see if you want to see X Woba or um, estimated Woba is what it's called in the Baseball R Savant data set. So expected Woba. Um, and then what else? We can see the contour plots, which is more or less the same thing but now becoming a contour. So we'll run this for Woba, the contour plot, so it kind of expands out that way. And then same for estimated Woba, 
Kator. Same thing. Now, what I'm going to do is call my Savant data set, which if you've watched my scraping an entire year of StatCast with some simple steps video, or the Acquire Daily StatCast data video, you can get a full year of Savant data from 2019 or 2020. So I will just use the readr package, read underscore CSV, and use the 2019 data set. Um, either way, if you don't feel like using either of those, you can use the StatCast sample. Um, this way, is it's a lot easier, but this is just another way to show you. You don't necessarily need to have this, but it allows you to get those kind of data points um, for a certain player. So when this gets finished loading, I'll show you like a contour plot of a certain player. So let's do Woba contour. And we'll say Savant filter from the dplyr package player name equals Anthony Rendon. And we can see that Anthony Rendon's average Woba mostly down and into him so this is from the catcher's perspective uh his woba is around 500 when you throw it down and in so feel free to use that if you have that savant data set to play along with this but what we're going to do next is create a function that allows you to scrape a specific player stat cast data for how many however many seasons you need as well as creating those comparison plots with some added functionality so we're going to create a function and we're going to call it comparison underscore plot. And we'll say function. And here are some of the arguments. So player name, seasons, and type. So I'll go into more depth for each of those arguments uh, shortly. But the first thing we'll do is we'll create a data frame called player data and we'll call the call strike package so again when i'm writing functions i typically directly call the package name before calling a function simply because sometimes there are packages or sometimes you load packages and there are conflicts with similar package um, functions so the reason why i call that is just to make sure i'm using the right function every time so we'll say Call strike collect many years. And we'll say player, since that's the first argument of the collect many years function, is that player name argument that we mentioned here. And then years equals seasons. And the reason why I didn't use years is because sometimes when I ran this, it would give me an error or give me a hard time with acquiring that data. So we will do that. So now to get those row data or that data all together because it will basically give you a list of data frames based upon the years that you select. Do piping operator and then dplyr double colon bind rows. So that way it takes each element of the list and combines it into one singular data frame. Now we're going to use the type part of our argument so that way if you want to do different types of plots, as I showed earlier, the difference between a plot and a contour, you can create that. So I'll say if type equals plot with a lowercase p or type equals plot with a capital P. So that way, if someone were to run this function in the future, you could do lowercase or capital. It wouldn't matter. Now we create those brackets to indicate, hey, we're running an if statement. And what we'll do is so now we'll say xwoba, again, called strike using that function. And then the estimated woba plot, since we're just calling the plot, player data, since that's what we called earlier in our function, player data. And then for title, to make it dynamic, we'll do a paste. And so how you do that is paste player underscore name 
or whoever we select. And then we'll say X Woba from, and we'll say seasons, and then in double brackets, one, because that basically says, okay, hey, whatever your list of elements is, the first element of our seasons will be in that title. So let me put it this way. If we selected years 2018 through 2020, we'll say, right now we're saying, select player name, we'll say it's Anthony Rondone from an early example. Anthony Rondone, X will be from 2018. And then we'll say either two or dash whatever floats your boat. Then we'll add this last functionality, which is max seasons. So that way it dynamically changes because you might select the years from 2016 to 2019 or 2017 to 2020. So that way, either, either way, it takes the very last element of that argument of the seasons. So from 2016 to 2019, 2019 would be the max. 2017 to 2020, 2020 would be the max. So you get your X Woba. We'll add a plus sign because this is a um, ggplot type of object, which is, again, under tidyverse, ggplot is. And we'll say theme classic. And that way we can just get rid of kind of some of the background or the gray backgrounds. And then also from the call strike package's center title. Then we'll add the last part, which is labels. And so we'll say labs are fill equals x woba. Then we can add our caption to be something like this. We can say data, baseball, R. Then we can say plot, cold strike. So something like this. Just to add a little bit of how we acquired the data and how we plotted the data. So that way this fill, instead of being at um, INT level, it'll say X Woba. And so what we'll do next is more or less the same, except we'll change it for Woba. So I'll actually just copy and paste this. And I'll say, instead of X Woba, I'll say Woba. So we'll replace all the X Wobas with Woba. So Woba, called strike, Woba plot, same thing, except now that we're saying Woba. And now our fill will be Woba. So now that's the first argument of that if, if statement, which is if we select the plot, we're doing the X Woba for Woba plot of this heat map. Now we're going to do a contour argument in the if statement. So we'll say else if type equals contour or type equals contour, again, capital or lowercase. And now what I'll do again is copy and paste the same thing from earlier, except now we're saying contour. So again, changing those labels. So estimated Woba contour, X Woba from, same thing. And then add another line. Now we're saying Woba contour, player data title, paste player name Woba from, blah, 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 theme classic center title, labels, fill equals Woba, caption, data baseball R plot called strike. And then lastly, we want our function to return some. So we'll say return Woba plus X Woba. And what that means is we're essentially calling, we're essentially creating these plots in a Woba Woba environment and X Woba environment, or basically we're assigning them these plots to the names Woba and X Woba. And so this is where having patchwork loaded into your library is very important. So we'll run this. 
And now we have our comparison plot in our environment. So now we can run that function. So go to comparison plot. And now we'll say our player name. So we can select any player name you want. So first person that came to my mind was Marcel Ozuna. We'll say seasons equals combine. We'll do from 2017 to 2020. And a, our type will be contour. So we run this. And what that collect many years function does is pulls the player's StatCast ID, acquires that data from those seasons of 2017 all the way to 2020, and then is able to generate those plots. So again, it takes time. Depending on internet connection, the type of your machine, um, it may take a little bit longer than others. So again, just be patient as this runs. So as long as it's working correctly, you should see URL read and payload acquired successfully for players that have data in their seasons. Now, Ronald Cunha didn't play in 2015. You wouldn't be able to see any data because you didn't play in 2015. Now, if we see it here, obviously it's not zoomed in, but you can see this comparison between his WOBA and his ex-WOBA. Now we can see the comparison between Marcel Ozuna's WOBA from 2017 to 2020 and his ex-WOBA. So it looks like up and away to Marcel Ozuna is where his WOBA and ex-WOBA was highest. And it seems like he outperformed his expected Woba on pitches further up and away. So you can kind of see it up here. His Woba was around 500, whereas his ex Woba was about 500 up here. But then it slowly started going down a bit once you reached up here based on expected results. So he outperformed it in, say, this area of the zone. But this is a good way to compare who's doing well in certain parts of the zone and who's doing well in terms of over or under performing their projections. And again, we see that that title was dynamically updated going from WOBA to ex-WOBA. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. So thanks for watching. Really hoped you enjoyed this video. My apologies for such a long hiatus of not posting any videos, but I'm going to get back on that grind of posting videos, generating some content for you guys. I know you guys appreciate it, and hopefully if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm on Twitter at RobertFry40. Please do not hesitate to ask questions about some of this stuff. Just here to help you generate kind of some st cool stuff in R with baseball data easy to use easy to generate so feel free to look at it and again thanks for watching have a great day